In today's story joke, we delve into the world of restaurants. Once upon a time, back in 1765 Paris, there was a guy named Boulanger. Now, this Boulanger character wasn't just your average soup vendor. He had big dreams and an even bigger sense of humor. His joint near the Louvre served up what he called restorative broths. But his real magic? It was in his motto, come to me, all who suffer from pain of the stomach, and I will restore you. A punny nod to both his broth's healing powers and a certain biblical invitation to find rest. But Boulanger wasn't just serving soup, he was starting a revolution. His broth business boomed, and soon his place became synonymous with good food and good vibes. However, not everyone was thrilled about Boulanger's success. The caterers, or traiteurs, felt like their turf was being invaded. They even took Boulanger to court. But guess what? Boulanger came out on top, securing his spot in culinary history. Now, while Boulanger might not have been the first to coin the term restaurant, his legacy lives on. And as for the English language, well, Let's just say we've always had a thing for French flair. So next time you're dining out, raise a toast to Boulanger, the OG restaurateur who turned broth into brilliance and made restaurants sound way fancier than a plain old cook's shop or suttling house. Bon appétit. All right, folks, enough with the history lesson. Let's spice things up and hop aboard the restaurant roller coaster. It's time to buckle up and get ready for a wild ride through the tantalizing world of dining delights. Last week, we took some friends out to a new restaurant and noticed that the waiter who took our order carried a spoon in his shirt pocket. It seemed a little strange. When the waiter brought our water and cutlery, I noticed he also had a spoon in his shirt pocket. Then I looked around and saw that all the staff had spoons in their pockets. When the waiter came back to serve our soup, I asked, why the spoon? Well, he explained, the restaurant's owners hired a consultant to revamp all our processes. After several months of analysis, they concluded that the spoon was the most frequently dropped piece of cutlery. It represents a drop frequency of approximately three spoons per table per hour. If our staff are better prepared, we can reduce the number of trips back to the kitchen and save 15 manhors per shift. This will be a significant improvement on our efficiency. As luck would have it, I dropped my spoon and he was able to replace it with his spare. I should get another spoon next time I go to the kitchen instead of making an extra trip to get it right now. I was impressed. I also noticed that there was a string hanging from all the male waiters front of their pants. So before he walked off, I asked the waiter, excuse me, but can you tell me why you have that string right there? Oh, certainly. Then he lowered his voice. Not everyone is so observant. He then started to explain. That consulting firm I mentioned also found that the male waiters can save time in the restroom by tying his string to the tip of you know what. We can pull the string which will lower our zip and pull it out without touching it. This will eliminate the need to wash our hands and thus shortening the time spent in the restroom by 76.39%. Wow, I said. That's amazing and very clever. But that immediately made me thought. So I asked, when you are finished, how do you put it back without touching it? Well, he answered, I don't know what the other waiters do, but I just use the spoon. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.